All right, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about gradients and getting somewhat of a glass or a bubble effect to your widgets or something on your custom live wallpaper or even something on your custom lock screen. Now have a look at this component here. That's the same component without this glass effect or bubble effect. Now I'm not a graphic designer by any means, but uh, I did create one of these in Affinity Designer and then you can also create this directly inside of your custom app using gradients and shapes and whatnot. I also have this set up as a widget and you can get this for free from my free widgets folder. The component is also in the free components folder. Just look for glass bubble. Now a few more of these things that I have inside of here. If I tap this component, here's a logo. You can put an image in there. I'm going to show you all this right here in a second. Sliding over to the one without that glass bubble effect. Notice the logo looks quite a bit different. And here it is on the widget. And again, this is just a widget, KWGT. And I have one more inside of here, tapping the bubble. We have this sun. If you actually watch this sun, if I were to uh, you know, fast forward through this video and let it sit here for two or three minutes or something like that, you'll see these colors are changing. I'll save that for another video. Here's that same one without the glass bubble effect. And here it is on the widget. Now, I've made one in Affinity Designer. You can make one in Photoshop or whatever, but I've also made one directly in KOWP, and that's what I really want to talk about with you here. But this is the glass bubble effect that I made. Now, I'm not a graphic designer by any means, but yeah, it does give it somewhat of a, a 3D effect, and it kind of looks like glass or a bubble or whatever you want to call it. But then again, like I said, I made one inside of KOWP, so I want to show that to you right now. So this glass bubble component, if you were to actually download the widget, you would just open it up in KWGT and that widget has this same exact glass bubble comp in it. So there's nothing different about this component, whether you're opening it up in KLOC, KOWP, or KWGT. So inside of that component, go over to Globals and you can adjust the size, you can change the colors. And then these two right here, uh, the logo, you can put any 720 by 720 circle image or any image rather, but uh, I put 720 by 720 there because that's the size of that logo that you see right here. Now, the bubble image is the one that I've added from Affinity Designer. This list global is just a way that we can toggle through what do we want to see on this widget. Now, you can definitely customize this to your liking as well. And then which G, which glass. Affinity is going to be the glass bubble image that I made. Custom is going to be the glass bubble made in KOWP. So right now, this glass image effect that you see is the one I made in KOWP or KWGT or custom lock screen. It does not matter. I'm going to change this. And it's going to change slightly. The affinity one is a little bit brighter and it looks like the uh, oval gradient up here. And then this down here, it does look different. Let me switch back and forth between those one more time. And then last but not least, uh, we have a clock background. So if I cut that off, it's just going to use the background of your wallpaper, whatever wallpaper you have set up, your background or what have you. Now I like that effect because it just blends in nicely with the background and whatever background you may have. If it's an image, you'll see the image right through that. Now I did not apply it to this one. This is the one that has no glass to it, but you could go in there and do that as well. And then in the widget, you'd have to go in KWGT and edit that widget. So now let's start creating this glass bubble effect, the one we create inside of the custom app. So inside of Globals, I want to make sure which G is set to custom. That way I can see this one. This is the one that's made in the custom app versus the one made in Affinity Designer or some other graphics program. And we can edit the custom glass bubble. It's this overlap group inside of the component. And there's really four pieces that I've added here. You can add a lot more to give it more dimension or even more of a realistic effect to really set that effect of it being glass or a bubble. Main stroke, got a circle. Stroke, I got it set to black. FX, I do have a vertical gradient. And to show you that stroke a little bit better, I'm going to go to background. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Now you can see the stroke. So back inside of that main stroke, if I slide this offset, you'll notice the black ring around the circle does move. I'm giving it a lighter color on the gradient versus the actual paint color that it has. Then I have a main circle, same size as the main stroke. It's paint, somewhat of a transparent white. It's FX, radial gradient, it's color, somewhat of a transparent gray. Again, you can adjust these to your liking. And I didn't really change anything in terms of width, offsets, centers, or anything like that. Basically what this is doing 
that semi-transparent white is in the center of the circle and then as it goes out to the edge of the circle we're going to have a gray color. To show you that further let me change this paint of this main circle. If I make it non-transparent notice you do see the white in the center. If I go over to FX and change its gradient color going to make this a non-transparent red or semi-transparent red. As we go out to the edge of the circle, it does get more red. To back off of that, let's adjust the width. And you can also play around with the offsets. But I'm going to reset all this back to the way I had it. Or something relatively close. Top glare is going to be an oval that I have up here. For its paint, I actually have a completely transparent white. So basically it's nothing there. You can see completely through it. However, for the gradient here, a radial gradient, I have a completely non-transparent white. And I have adjusted the width, the offset, and the center Y. I'm going to drag these around so you can see how it changes. Focus on the top part up here. So you can really fine tune that to your liking. Bottom glare, it's a circle. You could do an oval to it, probably wouldn't matter. It's paint, completely transparent white. FX, radial gradient. And I have a completely non-transparent white again, very similar to the oval. And adjust the widths, offsets, and centers to your liking again. So by me sliding those around it, you can definitely see the change in that glass bubble. And through these changes that I've made through showing you this, the glass bubble looks darker now compared to what it did before, I think. I'm going to cut that clock background back off. Yeah, maybe a touch darker, but not too much. And there you have it, you know, just some uh, oval circles. You can throw some other shapes in there, maybe apply some clips to some of these glares to really sell that effect of a glass bubble. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.